for sectors like online gaming and cryptocurrency one word that best describes the present regulatory scenario is ambiguous both sectors are booming in india but governments have their concerns related to user safety this dilemma played out again recently with karnataka notifying a law to ban online gambling and betting the law provides for up to 3 years of imprisonment or a fine of up to rupees 1 lakh in such cases and here's the confusing part the karnataka law expressly states that games of chance like online casinos and betting websites should be banned but additionally it has said that games of skill where there is a risk of the player losing money should also be banned now several indian courts have previously called games like poker rummy and fantasy sports games of skill and deemed them legal The Supreme Court too upheld Dream 11's online fantasy sports format as a game of skill. The ban has come into effect and top gaming companies such as Mobile Premier League have begun informing Karnataka users that the law in their state doesn't allow playing games for cash. Nazara on fantasy sports app Hala Play, Paytm First Games and online rummy portals Ace to 3 and Rummy Culture have also stopped offering cash games to users in Karnataka. Dream 11 didn't suspend its cash games along with everyone else, leading to an FIR against the company. Dream 11 has claimed that the complaint is motivated but it has also suspended its services in Karnataka now a source close to one of the gaming companies affected by the ban said the company was blocking access to Karnataka users through their IP addresses and KYC information the source added that the gaming company also had VPN blockers to ensure Karnataka users wouldn't bypass the ban we spoke to Ramesh Kalasam CEO of indiatech.org an association representing Indian consumer internet companies while the overall legislation clearly seems to target online gambling and betting certain specific lines in the legislation as worded currently can be interpreted to cover the entire gamut of online based skill based gaming and will see them wrongfully being clubbed with gambling betting or wagering india tech has recommended to the government of karnataka to issue necessary clarifications in this regard at the earliest so that from an optics standpoint karnataka continues to be seen as a progressive tech hub of india that encourages startups in the emerging technology space as an ideal investment destination we also feel that in addition to the clarification there should be issuance of detailed rules that should be notified soon after making clear segregation of the creation of a category possibly we may call it as online skill based games and sports which include games that have skill predominance over chance We have also recommended certain guiding principles that can be issued in this regard to bring in the necessary regulatory clarity. There's an entire online gaming ecosystem thriving in Karnataka's capital Bengaluru, which is also India's startup hub. According to media reports, the state is home to at least 91 Indian gaming companies, which employ about 4,000 people. The industry supports an ancillary AVGC ecosystem. AVGC stands for Animation, Visual Effects, Gaming, and Comics. Online gaming in India is estimated to more than double in size to rupees 29000 crore by 2024-25. The number of gamers will grow to 657 million during this period, according to a KPMG report. The Federation of Indian Fantasy Sports, led by Dream 11, has said that the law seems misguided since it penalizes legitimate businesses by treating them at par with illegal online gambling, betting and wagering platforms. We spoke to Ranjana Adhikari, partner at law firm Indus Law. to understand more about how the Karnataka legislation disregards all legal precedents for the online skill based gaming industry the approach adopted by the state is perhaps best described as being paternalistic and in ignorance of very set legal principles regarding the skill gaming industry set right at the level of the supreme court while skill games have the protection under the constitution of india as a legitimate industry We have plenty of examples in the recent times where Supreme Court and the high courts have reaffirmed the stand. Karnataka has also ignored the live examples of its sister southern states of Tamil Nadu and Telangana where very similar bans were imposed. We all know that while trying to impose a similar ban on the real money skill gaming industry, Madras High Court struck down the amendments introduced by Tamil Nadu as being ultra vice the constitution. calling it disproportionate and arbitrary in its approach even in the case of telangana as expected the ban has not been the best solution to crack down on the real menace that the state was trying to protect its citizens from instead they made the underground illegal market more lucrative and unchecked with the unavailability of skill games in the state even telangana officials have gone on record stating that they are reconsidering their approach to skill games and are looking at a more business friendly yet balanced law 
Without doubt, these amendments in Karnataka will also be up for challenge and are unlikely to pass the master of the legal principles evolved. In addition to Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Kerala, Odisha and Assam have also banned online real money gaming in the past, disregarding the legal distinction between games of skill and games of chance. State governments have been able to make their own laws in this regard, since gambling is a state subject in India. However, these state bans stand on very thin legal grounds. Recently, the Kerala High Court struck down the ban on real money online gaming by the state government. Buoyed by the support from the courts, the All India Gaming Federation, along with gaming companies Mobile Premier League, Games 24-7 and Ace to 3, have filed writ petitions in the Karnataka High Court, challenging the constitutional validity of Karnataka's ban on online gaming. It is important to note that all of the states that have banned online real money gaming have cited worries over gambling addiction among the youth, sometimes even leading them to commit suicide. And they are not wrong. But gaming companies have asserted that banning legitimate businesses would only lead the youth to illegal underground gambling platforms. Policy experts suggest that given the huge potential for the sunrise sector, it might be time the center stepped in and introduced legislation to protect India's online gaming companies. The law could have a range of measures, including those on responsible gaming, player protection, and anti-money laundering, like in countries such as the UK. Given the huge revenue, tax and employment opportunities in the online gaming industry, a central law to regulate the space might be a prudent move. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.